Hi there, this is Andreas with Express Pets Finger Drumming and this is another video about the awesome MIDI converter script for Ableton Live which was written by Andreas Müller and which will be very helpful for you if you use an Ableton Push 102 or a Novation Launchpad Pro or MK2 and if you want to use it with custom MIDI mappings which means that you go away from the uh, uh, predefined uh, scales that come with these devices but want to use it in user mode with your custom mappings. And if you have seen this other video already, you will know how to use it in Ableton Live. So how to use the script itself in Ableton Live with the ExpressPads finger drumming layouts, which I've prepared already in the script and which I've made available for download uh, from the ExpressPads website. But in this video, I don't want to talk about that topic. I really want to talk about how you can use or create your own custom mappings. And just so you know, this is a free script, so Andreas has gratefully um, made it available for free. He has granted the right to make it downloadable from the ExpressPads website. And I will put the link, the download link, um, into the description of this video, so that's just so you know. But now let's have a look at the script itself. Over here you see that you can choose the launch pad or able to push as your controller and down here you see the drop down menu which takes you to the different layouts that you have prepared and we now want to change those presets or layouts into your custom mapping right so that when you change that to your custom mapping your custom notes will appear here now the difficult thing when you uh, work with scripting is that uh, you yeah, you see a an edit area that looks like that. And this is really daunting and no worries, we won't go into programming this. We only will go into making changes, uh, very specific changes in order for this uh, script to work as you would like it to work. And as you can imagine, those uh, matrices here, those are the ones that uh, are driven by the different selections from the drop-down menu. And um, I want to show you now how you can easily uh, create those mappings uh, without writing the note numbers one after the other into this matrix in the script. And for that purpose, I've created an Excel spreadsheet. Um, it's the MIDI converter script input generator. And as you can see, it's a, a three-step process. You have step number one, which means that you should assign node descriptions to node numbers. Then step number two is that you should create the input matrix. That means that you just need to enter numbers in this area. And finally, uh, in step three, you will see an output line, which you only need to copy and later on paste into the max script. Number one is not really mandatory, but I highly recommend uh, doing this. It's a kind of uh, preparation work that you should do, and you should do it on the note description table. So here you can see the MIDI note numbers. It goes from 0 to 127. And here you see the sound description. And in, of course, in terms of uh, when you speak about drumming or finger drumming, uh, there's a general MIDI standard for uh, drums, but you can use it for anything. And maybe you have your own samples recorded and you have very special names for those. Put them in here and later on enter the note numbers where you put them in into this script and the name will appear here. Now, why have I done that? I think that if you use special MIDI mappings and you um, will, will use them again in, in a month or a year uh, from now, you probably don't remember on which pad which sound uh, you put. And with this way of working, you can just print later on your specific layout and store it as a PDF file with your preset uh, file. And uh, in a year from now, you will still know when you load that template, which sound you will find on which pad, right? Okay, what next? Um, you can see there are gray areas, right? Those are the ones that you can change. I've protected this spreadsheet, so everything else you can't change. So when I want to write, overwrite this, Excel starts screaming. 
And that's intentionally because um, there are a couple of formulas in the background. And if you do something um, on the right in the wrong place, then it will screw it up. So I just want to protect you from that happening. Okay, so what can we do? For example, just we'll mark these areas because they are related, as you can imagine. And when I then just start adding the node numbers here, you can also see in the layout overview how this changes. And uh, I've done something wrong, but I think you know what I wanted to say, right? Um, okay, so that's that's actually what you what you can do with it. And the next thing that I want to show you is that you can also use the MIDI mappings that your virtual instrument uh, manufacturer ships with the product. For example, Easy Drummer comes with a lot of expansions, and uh, those expansions are unfortunately hardwired to some MIDI mappings, and they are not uh, in in its entirety uh, general MIDI drum mappings. They ha also have some special mappings and this sometimes makes it frustrating when you want to play Easy Drummer with uh, standard layouts, for example, like with the Express Pads finger drumming technique. But with this layout, you can now create your own workaround um, so that you make sure that the bass drum and the snare drum and the toms and the cymbals, they are always on the right places. You only need to do this work once. And how you could do this is you could just open up the PDF file that comes with the Easy Axis. And in this case, this is the Easy Drummer Hip Hop Easy X. And you can see you have the note numbers here, you have the note descriptions over there, and the um, articulation description, descriptions over here. And this means if you only copy those over to Excel, sort them in the right uh, direction, um, you can just copy and paste them uh, into the Excel file in this area, into the right uh, slots. And later on, you just need to add the note numbers here and you're done. Finally, you only need to copy this line here, which I do via shortcut, then go to max for life go back to patcher mode, uh, take one of these matrix uh, slots here, I'll take a new one, say paste, and when I resize it, um, lastly I go to the drop down field, which is this one here, and go to inspector, go to menu items, edit and I will add the name of this specific um, layout. And then I hit OK, and then I hit save and uh, while I was just recording this video, uh, max for life for some reason told me that this is a trial version which is not true but um, I can't change it but I want to finish this video now so I will tell you what happens usually and which will probably happen when I restart my notebook here. Um, once once you save and you have closed that, you will see your new layout name appear here as number five and um, you're done with uh, creating your custom layout.